Meta CEO Mark Zuckerberg is laying out his vision for how the social media company uses artificial intelligence. What if an AI assistant could help you become smarter, faster, and more creative every single day? Mark Zuckerberg just revealed a bold plan for personal super intelligence, aiming to put AI in everyone's daily life. With Meta spending over $72 billion on AI this year alone, this isn't science fiction, it's happening now. Mark Zuckerberg envisions AI not as a job replacer, but as a deeply personal tool, an assistant that understands your life, supports your creativity, and helps you build better relationships. It's about freeing individuals from repetitive tasks and enhancing human potential. Instead of automating everything, this AI would collaborate with you, elevating daily life. The goal is empowerment, not replacement. It's meant to be a tool for growth, exploration, and meaning. Meta aims to give each person their own intelligent, evolving assistant. Meta Super Intelligence Labs was formed by recruiting elite AI talent from OpenAI, DeepMind, Apple, and others. The team includes leaders like Alexander Wang and Nat Friedman, more than 40 experts with backgrounds in LLMs, multimodal models, and reinforcement learning have joined. Most hold PhDs and bring international research experience. They turn down massive compensation packages elsewhere. The team's strength lies in their combined research depth and product focus. Their goal? Build the most capable AI systems in the world. To fuel its ambitious AI roadmap, Meta is making one of the largest infrastructure investments in tech history, allocating between $66 and $72 billion in capital expenditures for 2025 alone. A major portion of this spending is directed toward compute power, especially GPUs, which are critical for training and running large-scale AI models. Meta's goal is to surpass 1 million GPUs by the end of 2025, giving it an unprecedented advantage in raw AI processing capacity. This level of compute would allow Meta to develop and deploy some of the most advanced and fastest AI systems in the world, with minimal bottlenecks in training time or latency. At the heart of this infrastructure are two massive data centers, Prometheus, located in Ohio, and Hyperion, being constructed across thousands of acres in Louisiana. Prometheus is scheduled to deliver one gigawatt of compute power by 2026, a milestone that would make it one of the most powerful data centers globally. Hyperion, even more ambitious, is designed to eventually reach up to five gigawatts with the capacity to support multi-trillion parameter models and real-time AI deployment at a planetary scale. These data centers aren't typical server farms. They are specialized AI superclusters engineered to support cutting-edge multimodal and generative AI workloads. This level of infrastructure signals a shift in how tech companies approach AI development. Rather than relying solely on public cloud resources or shared infrastructure, Meta is vertically integrating its AI stack, from chips and compute all the way to deployment. With this scale, Meta can iterate on new models faster, reduce training times from months to weeks or days, and provide real-time AI experiences to billions of users. It also puts Meta in a unique position to train extremely large context-aware models like Behemoth, its upcoming 2 trillion parameter system, without being constrained by external hardware limitations. This massive compute investment is foundational to Meta's long-term bet on personal superintelligence. Meta quietly bought 49% of Scale AI for $14.3 billion, securing access to its vast data labeling workforce. This includes networks in Kenya, the Philippines, and Venezuela, crucial for preparing clean training data. That data pipeline gives Meta an edge over rivals. Competitors like Google and OpenAI paused projects or reconsidered suppliers in response. The deal ensures Meta has both compute and training data secured. It's a strategic move combining infrastructure and input for model training. LLAMA 4, Meta's new multimodal AI model family, launched in April 2025. It handles text, images, video, and audio, using a mixture of experts' architecture for efficiency. There are three versions, Scout and Maverick, both 17B parameters, and Behemoth, 2T in development. The models remain open source, allowing public experimentation. However, LLAMA 4 underperformed in math and reasoning benchmarks compared to some peers. Voice features were also weaker. 
Still, it's a step toward unified, flexible AI models. Meta emphasizes personal empowerment over labor automation. Unlike some competitors focused on enterprise automation, Meta wants AI to help individuals flourish. With 3.4 billion daily users, they have the reach. Strong ad revenue helps fund large-scale AI projects. Their open-source stance brings developers into the fold. Infrastructure, data access, and audience size give Meta unique advantages. This people-first focus is the philosophical core of their strategy. It's about amplifying human potential, not replacing it. Its data centers, Prometheus and Hyperion, are being built to deliver record-breaking compute power. Prometheus will reach 1 gigawatt by 2026. Hyperion, built across thousands of acres, could scale to 5 gigawatts. These are not just server farms. They're designed for future AI models like Behemoth and beyond. Billions are being spent to create the backbone for AI development. Their scale enables faster training and more ambitious projects. Meta is betting big on raw infrastructure as a competitive edge. Meta sees Ray-Ban Meta smart glasses as the best interface for personal AI. These hands-free devices already support photo capture, translation, calling, and Meta AI access. They can see and hear your surroundings, allowing context-aware interaction. Mark believes those without AI glasses will be at a cognitive disadvantage. The goal is seamless, everyday integration of AI into life. Unlike phones, glasses offer persistent, unobtrusive access to intelligent tools. Meta wants the glasses to be the main AI interface. Meta's AI push is paying off financially. In the second quarter of 2025, revenue rose 22% to $47.5 billion and net profit jumped 36% to $18.3 billion. The company's stock surged over 11% after the superintelligence announcement. Despite heavy AI investment, Meta continues to deliver strong returns. This performance signals confidence from investors. AI is not just a cost, it's becoming a growth driver. Meta's strategy is seen as financially sound and sustainable. Their bet on personal superintelligence is gaining traction. LLAMA 4 underwhelmed in some areas like reasoning and math. Open sourcing may be reduced due to safety concerns. Meta faces intense competition from OpenAI, DeepMind, Microsoft, and others. Talent wars continue with huge compensation packages needed to attract experts. Infrastructure scaling brings logistical challenges. Responsible AI and regulatory scrutiny are growing as models become more powerful. Despite momentum, execution and governance are key. Meta must balance speed, ethics, and openness carefully. By late 2025, Meta plans to launch its AI assistant to over a billion users, powered by fully operational Prometheus and Hyperion superclusters. LL Llama 4 aims to lead in multimodal AI, supporting learning, relationships, and creativity. The assistant is designed to boost personal growth, not just productivity. This shift redefines AI as a life-enhancing partner, not an automation tool. It pressures competitors to scale infrastructure and rethink direction. Developers gain a powerful open platform. If successful, Meta's vision could transform how people live and interact with technology. It's not about replacing people. It's about giving tools for creativity, connection, and growth. Challenges exist, performance gaps, competition, safety concerns. But the aim is clear. What part of this future excites most? Is it glasses that listen and help? Models that handle visuals and voice or AI that truly supports people's goals? Thanks for sticking through this breakdown. The journey into personal superintelligence is just beginning and it might reshape life in ways few can imagine. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel.